What's up YouTube? Nazwa Beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Alright? What I'm doing, before I turn the camera on, I started making a beat. The beat came out pretty nice. It was okay. I like it. It came out hot. Alright? I was about to bounce everything out and turn it into a full a full um beat right so because when i make my beats what i do is i make loops so one sequence to make a full loop right and then i bounce everything out and make my whole beat my whole you know what i mean my whole beat so one of my subscribers asking me how do i do it so i was like hmm this is a good time to show y'all how do i bounce my you know bounce my beat out and arrange my track all right so this is the beat that I created. Alright. So sit back. I'm going to show you. The whole beat is done. From whatever it is. I'm done with it. Now I'm going to bounce it out. And I'm going to create my full track. And I'm going to show you the arrangement and everything. Alright. Let's go. I might not be talking a lot. If you have any comments. Just leave it down. And I... If you have like any questions how I do something, just leave it down in the comment and I will um you know what I mean? I'll get back to you. I try to get to all my comments, alright? Let's go. Let's get it. Okay, all right. So now we're inside the NPC, right? I have my drum track mute muted, so let's hear it. All right. So I'm gonna show y'all the tracks first. Let's go to track one. This was my chord progression. Let's name it so we can know what it is. Track two. This was like a little melody. So I named that mellow one. Track three was another little melody so I named that mellow 2 track 4 I copy track 1 and paste it and move a little notes around to create track 4 so I call that uh, just chord uh, progression 2 track 5 I didn't use track 5 I had arcade on there I was going to use arcade but I didn't use it so let's go to track let's delete this track alright so track 6 Track 6 is the bass, so let's name that our bass. Track 7 wasn't used, and then I went all the way to 30. And on 30, that's where I like to put my drums, because once I make my drums, everything else is going to, because you notice I stop at track 7, so everything from, from my drums is going to be from 7 on down. That's why I do it at 30. Alright, so what we do on track 30 now, since we named everything else, you can see we named everything else right here. Now what we're gonna do when we hit track 30, I need to move. I need to copy. I'm gonna move base um the base up to five because remember we had arcade on five, so I'm gonna delete that and move the base up. All right. So let's go to base. Hit the pencil. Copy track, but we're gonna move it to track five. All right. So from six, we're gonna move it to five. Do it. And now we can clear track six because we don't need it no more. Now once we open this, here we go. See. The bass move up here. So what we can do now, once we bounce, once we explode track 30, is going to start from 6 all the way down. You're going to see what I'm talking about. Let's go. Alright, so we go on to track 30. Unmute it. I have one of these tracks. I'll go to track 30. Solo it. Listen. Alright. So what I do here, hit the pencil icon and just hit explode right that's it now watch when I hit my track drop down you are gonna see every all of these is gonna be on their own separate track see remember I started that I told you I moved the bass from 6 to 5 now look every all my sounds started from 6 to 11 so this all these sounds is here now on their own separate track so let's go to track 6 and we're gonna just name what track they are the name of the track so I put it on solo and just name it now that's our kick alright Let's call it snare. 
snare double hit snare x2 hit let's call this perk one let's call this perk two let's call this our clap and this is our hi-hat and that's it that's all the tracks right there so it's 11 tracks 11 tracks so what I do from here what I do from here is what I do from here is since I have all my tracks now everything is labeled what I do from I can delete track 30 because I don't need it no more I have everything on a separate track so let's just delete track 30 so hit the pencil icon hit clear and just hit clear right so now 30 is gone all we got is 1 to 11 this if you need to add another track all right so it's 11 sounds and 11 sounds is going to turn out into my whole beat so what I do is from track one I bounce everything to audio because it's easier to work with audio once you work with audio in the MPC it's easier to to arrange your track right instead of going to the song mode and creating couples um, create different sequences and sequence them out in song mode I don't like doing that this way to me is easier you could try it and if it's you know try it and see what happens for you so what I do is pencil bounce to audio track bounce to audio track right so this audio right all I do now rename it to my progression right go back to my midis switch this track to track two and bounce that to audio bounce to an audio track remember it's bounce to an audio track so now it's on the track double click that and just name it mellow one all right and so on and so forth so i'm gonna just keep on keep on going if you don't have i'm gonna show you if you don't have the mpc um, software i'm gonna show you how to do it with just in the software if you don't have the mpc hardware i'm gonna show you how to do it in the software so go back to MIDI, go to Mellow 2, and up here, come to Edit, Tracks, Bounce to a New Audio Track. See? So you hit this, Bounce to a New Audio Track, or Alt and T. See that? Alright, so Alt, Control Z, Alt, T, and just name that Mellow 2. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go ahead and bounce everything out. It's an easier way. You can bounce the whole um, beat out to audio and then set you can do this let me show you you can do this bounce um, hold on file export export as audio mix down then select explode tracks right but once you explode the track they all come over here and then you have to go into your projects over here on the side and then you have to find the project and then just drag everything back in for me it's easier for me to just bounce each individual track to an actual track instead of bouncing it into my project alright so that's the way that you can do it too and it, it might be faster for you but for me this way is faster all right so where we at now which one did I bounce mellow 2 was the last one all right so let's go back to MIDI let's change mellow 2 I'm gonna show you how fast I do it when I don't talk so so we're on progression now so you hit audio bang bounce the audio track MIDI bounce the audio track MIDI bounce the audio track bounce the audio track bounce the audio track bounce the audio track Alright, so once we have all them bounce to audio track, you come here, they go all our audio track. That's all our audio track. But what I need to do now, since I was doing it fast, I didn't name them. So what I need to do is just rename them right now. So you click, kick. Here go your snare. Snare X2. Here go the perk 2. Here go perk 1. Here go the clap. Here go the hi-hat. Alright, now since we have all these let's drop the um drop the audio and let's open up the midi see all midi notes is muted all the audio track is here so let's play the audio track and see what that sound like Alright, so that's that right there, you in the races now. Once that is done, 
I'll show you the next step. All right, now, since that process is done now, what you need to do is come right here to Sequence, right-click, double in length. See, right-click and double in length. What that does is it separates your audio right now. See, it doubles the sequence in length, right? So now we could take out, replace. Then once we do that, let's come here again, double in length again. Now look, see? Now we can, if we didn't want this in this section, we just remove it, right? So another thing, double in length again. And it just keep doubling, see? That's the whole track. Now all we got to do is just add and remove. Let's double it to one, uh, what's that? To 128, all right? That should be plenty for our song. So now all you got to do is, let's say we don't want none of these at the bottom. Make sure you're on your, your, your um, selection tool. Say we don't want none of these at there. We just copy them. I mean, select them and delete them. Now listen. Then when it get right here, then it'll play everything. That's just the intro. Now here go the. Now say. Say when, but when the song come here, we don't need, we don't want this. Let's put the um, time signature on bar. Say we don't want this to play, we just move it right there. And then it will come in right here. Let's see, right there. Say we don't want that. Move that right to here. Say we don't want the bass in there. Move the bass here. Or you can delete it. Or if you don't want it at the end, you can move it. At, so you can play with it more with this, with this, the way that I'm doing it right here. So look, lead the kick in. Take that out. Leave that. If you wanted to have a smaller cut, just change change it from instead of having it at bar, you would change it from bar and bring it to let's say four. And then now you can have smaller chops or move it smaller, right? It's just to show y'all. Now watch this when I play. So you see what I'm saying? That's how I do my arrangements. It's easier for me this way to do the arrangement because the MIDI, MIDI on the MPC, you cannot work with it like this. It don't separate them in um it don't separate them like how the audio track separates them. Alright? So now I'ma just go ahead and I'ma undo all these. Undo. And what I'ma do is I'ma just arrange my track and then I'll play it for you at the end. Alright? Let's get it. Turn it up!